Hey folks, what's here? Welcome back to another Pal Masters video. And after uh, um all the requests, I guess I mean why why already did I already did like two out of three of them, so I'd, <laughs> I might as well just, you know go over the rest. Uh, so like y'all um mentioned, we should probably go over the tech uh tier list that the uh, Japanese website put out as well, and see how it is i have i have like the lowest expectations now like i have extremely low expectations now <laughs> so we'll we'll, we'll 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 see we'll see we'll see how they rank their year you know sync pairs and all and uh hopefully they're not as bad as i mean i don't know i mean text they're just not really you know easy to rank like I, i'd be so much more forgiving of this list because text they usually just fill different roles honestly right it's not, you know, very rarely would you say, well, I wouldn't say rarely, but usually it's not as much as the case is, oh, this unit is better than that one or whatever, right? It's just, this unit does this and that unit does that, right? They're both, you know, either good or bad at what they do, uh, but they do different things, right? So anyways, uh, that aside, let's, uh, let's check them out. All right, so number one, we got, uh, that's not bad. That's not bad. That's not bad. That's what I disagree. I mean, I, I don't think Sing Leaf should be there. Um, I, should, I think Sing Leaf should be second. Um, because you know, Serena is just so incredibly uh overpowered, right? Um, with a AOE sleep, but but this is not bad. I'll take this. This is not terrible. <laughs> this is fine. This is fine. This is this is not too bad, anyways. Uh, moving on to number two. Look, hey, and not being too hard on them. <laughs> Anyways, uh, number two, we got. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, uh, you know, again, it might be, I'll probably flip these two, but hey, not bad. So far, so good. Good job, good job. This is going very, very well. This is going very, very well. I am very pleased. Um, this is this is not bad. <laughs> this is not this is not that bad. Moving on to number three, we got Will and Zatu. Okay, that lasted for a really good 20 seconds or so, right? Well, and Zatu, um, they're good. They're definitely good, right? And, and especially now that Psycho Train's a thing, but they're not, like, number three good. <laughs> I mean, they're, they're, there's just so much other, like, sync pairs that you'd probably, you know, um, put over them, right? Just... Even stuff like Onyx, right? Uh, you know, not to mention stuff like, you know, my low tick, whatever, right? Like, again, Will is good. It's just not that good, right? I mean, Vileplume, Rapidash, uh, Gengar, Torkoal, right? I mean, I'd put these in front of Will and, and Zato. Again, Will and Zato, it's a solid unit, right? Octillabold, uh, uh, right? Um, whatever, Crobat, that's a, another big one. But yeah, I don't know a little bit Will. Mew even, right? Like Rock. Like there's, yeah, yeah I, don't know. <laughs> I don't know about Will. Anyways, moving on. Number four, we got Gladian. Okay, Gladian's just straight up not good. <laughs> Why do they have Gladian at number four? This guy is not good. <laughs> I mean, he's really useful if you're new to the game. You don't have, you know, that many different types of strikers. But he's not that great. Like, <laughs> if you compare it to, like, any other, like, singer in the game. Like, this thing is just, I don't know, he, he doesn't do anything well, doesn't tank that well, his damage isn't that great, the sync nuke isn't, you know, anything crazy. And and he has, like, so many downsides, right? I mean, again, like, tech-wise, he doesn't even do anything good, right? The downsides, there's so many downsides to this thing, you can only switch your typing once, right? Uh, so if you're facing stages with multiple types... You're getting that super effective damage, and if you're not getting that super effective damage in, you're basically doing like no damage, right? This this guy's damage is not good uh, when you're not hitting for super effective, right? Yeah, uh, <laughs> this is definitely a big disagree for me. Anyways, number five, we got Mew. I'd put Mew a bit lower, but uh, it, it's fine. I mean, it's not the worst, not the worst. Uh, moving on, number six, we got Lycanroc. Lycanroc's fine. Lycanroc's fine. Right, um, I'd probably put like rock a bit lower, but not too much lower. Like, I I just think like stuff like Koga should probably be slightly higher in, in 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 this realm, right? But again, not the biggest deal, not the biggest deal. Moving on, number seven, we got uh, okay, no, 
No, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no. Grimsley is probably, probably the weakest five-star gosh in the game. There is also, you know, an argument for, say, like, some other units, right? Uh, but Grimsley is definitely competing for that spot. Um, it's basically a tank that steals opponent's stats, and it's not even that good at that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Grimsley really doesn't do anything much at all. Um, he could be good in like some really niche scenarios, but again, Grimsley is incredibly niche, right? Octel Bull, I'd easily put it over Grimsley. And I don't even think Octel Bull is like that crazy, right? Yeah, um, yeah, I don't know what the heck they're doing with that. Oh, you know what? Oh, I you know I take that back. This is probably before Octel Bull had um had the uh had the synchro too because this was again they ranked these like around the aether family time so yeah like pre-grid octillable like it's just straight up sea bad right this this thing was like <laughs> not good at all <laughs> for the synchro uh moving on number nine milotic and milotic should be much higher than this not much higher but i mean well i still think stuff like coke is probably better than milotic but it's definitely better than ungridded um seabold or even gridded Grimsley, right? Um, and also Gladian and Will. Uh, but yeah, I mean, sure. If if I were to like, like rank these with like the units that I think should be above of Milotic, or Milo could be around number nine or so, right? But again, I, I don't think it's, it's these things. Uh, anyways, we're moving on. Number 10 on this list is Cryogono? Cryogonal. Cryogonal. I. Okay, I mean. Okay, right, here's the thing. Haze is good. Haze is a really, really good move. But Cryogonal does, like, almost nothing outside it. Like, has what? Endurance. Okay, cool. Like, who cares? You're not, like, that great of a tank, anyways, right? Like, let's pull up Cryogonal. Like, this guy. <laughs> pulling it up in Japanese, <laughs> um, as if I could, yeah, read that. But like, like straight up, like, bro, your defenses are terrible, right? Um, actually, they're not like that. They're about like five star, but they're still not that great, right? They're not that great. And then like your thing is like haze, and then you have like, uh, y y you have like endurance. Yeah, I I don't know. Yeah, this is like it's definitely you can't rank this thing like higher than Crobat or or Vioplume or or Masquerade even. I don't even know. I, I could just name like a random like texting first probably better. Than <laughs> Bryson, Gengar, Rapidash, Pelipper, Onyx, um, even Voltorp. <laughs> it's much more useful than Cryogon overall, right? Anyways, whatever. Uh, so that's their top 10. Let's go into the detailed uh, scoring rankings, whatever, right? And, and let's check that out. Hopefully it's it gets better here. Um, I've, uh, again, I do think Serena is overall better, but I, this is not the biggest deal. I don't really care that much. Um, Gladian, yeah. <laughs> I'm feeling that 8.5, man. 7.5, Clement. Clement's fine here. Um, Grimsley, I definitely put down again. Same with Gladian, same with ungridded Seabad. Although, if it is gridded, then it's fine here, All right? Uh, Cookie's fine here, huh? What? Why is it so low? Um, a Ace, Ace, Ace roll at five. Whoa, Ace roll at five, dude. Ace Aurora is on, like, some of the, like, most, like, busted teams in the game, right? Like, Ace Aurora, like, even if you take away, like, the Sandstorm, like, even if you just straight up take away Sandstorm from Ace Aurora, Ace Aurora is still a really, really good unit. Fantastic flinch chance on a one-gauge spammable move, right, as raises defenses, uh, can can uh, redirect damage for a bit, gradual heals, 
Like, even if you just straight up do not give Acerola a Sandstorm, like, Acerola is still, like, a solid unit, right? If you don't give Acerola a Sandstorm, then she's, like, she's still, like, deserving it, like, this five points, right? But, like, after, like, you give Acerola a Sandstorm, obviously, and all the things that come with Sandstorm, right? She buffs your team's attack, she could buff your team's crit, right? In Sandstorm, she heals in stand Sandstorm. And, uh, again, the Sandstorm teams are, but, like, you run Sandstorm with Garchomp, you run Sandstorm with, like, Olivia or Lycanroc whatever else what <laughs> steelix i i don't whatever i don't even know will is definitely not this high um yeah gengar is fine <sighs> he was he was good in like one event <laughs> he was good in like one event and he was actually really nice in that event right um but like yeah it's not better than Kayla or Aceorla generally, right? Uh Viola is not that low. Viola is definitely better than Wickstrom, right? Viola's definitely better than Wickstrom. I do feel like Viola is better than um Kalem, so at least they have that, I guess. Uh but Viola is definitely better than like Crimsley or Gladian or whatever. Uh well, I just exposed like a lot of spots. Koga should be so much higher. Koga is severely underrated in this game. Koga is so incredibly powerful. Like, really, really great sync nuke. Has a 100% chance to decrease the opponent's special attack every time it attacks. Uh, the Venoshock hits pretty hard, too, as well, right? Badly poison. Um, evasion, speed, buff its own crit. Like, this, this guy's really good. This guy's so much better than what it is over here. Um, Sophocles. I actually kind of like Sophocles. But Ustafa is definitely not this high, right? Nuzzle is a terrible, terrible move. It's a three gauge move that paralyzes, right? Like, you could just use Thunder Wave, Stun Spore. Those are both two gauge moves that paralyze, right? Oh, 100% paralyze, right? Nuzzle is just a bad move overall. Blaine should be higher, right? Blaine could trap the opponent, could potentially burn, has speed, has sun. Same thing with Aerosol on, like, some really busted teams in the game, right? Run. Blaine with Red, run Blaine with Hilda, run Blaine with Ethan, run Blaine with, like, who else? Serena, right? Uh, yeah, Blaine, they put, like, Blaine, like, 0 0.5 higher than Lapras. Lapras is not good at all. Oh, oh my god, they put Lapras in the same score as Aceroll. <sighs> Man. Anyways, moving on. Uh, Grant... I'd put Grant higher than Lapras, but it's not a big deal. Nanu, okay, Nanu, uh, Nanu, I'd put Nanu higher. Um, defense, like, double, like, defense down two is really, really good. Nanu could also flinch as well. Like, Nanu is a really, really solid, like, gridless unit. I'd put Nanu, um, much higher than, than this, right? I'd definitely put it, like, around the Sophocles range, right? Um, I do think Blaine is more useful. I, I mean, I'd move Blaine up too, so <laughs> there's that as well. Anyways, moving on, we got uh, these. Okay, fine. <laughs> Although I'd put Lapras lower than Thorton. I do Thor uh, think Thorton is like, decent in some situations. Telekinesis could be useful. Analysis complete could make it a decent tank. But outside of that, I have no issues that much here. And Whitney's not that great, so... But Whitney's fine down there. Anyways, let's check out the three-star tech units. Uh, we got Mew at eight points. Uh, what's eight-point range? So look then, Will. <laughs> um, Will and the Gladian. Mm, I don't know. I mean, Mew is good, but I don't think it's like that good. I, I I'd put Mew in like uh, around the Wallace range, I guess. Which is the it's kind of around that. You know what? I'm I'm being I'm being slightly unfair. He was fine. He was fine over there. Uh, moving on, we got Crygonal. Okay, and Crash Awake. Uh, Crash Awake is better than Crygonal. All right, good flinch, decent sync nuke. It's not like that great. Oh, it also max out you know his own attack and crit. But uh, oh, I'm not gonna gripe over that. Next, we got Voltorb. Um, I do think Vol I, th I think people underrate Voltorb quite a bit. Voltorb's incredibly fast, um, and has extra speed buffs, right? And has minus two special attack, um, per per use. So if you're running it with like 
um, overpowered units like Karen or Alder, or devastation units like Alder, right? It's a really, really good um, addition on that team, in my opinion. Anyways, moving on. Uh, Ramos. Wait, 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 wait. How? How do you put Gengar at 8 and Ramos at 6.5? They literally do the exact same thing, except Gengar is faster, which makes Gengar better. Right? I mean, I guess Gengar will also do damage, but like their main purpose is basically the same. Their main purpose is to put the opponent to sleep. Why is there such a huge difference? And again, I do think Gengar is better, but like, what the heck? Really? Come on. Anyways, moving on. Uh, we got uh, Pelipper at 6.5. Who else is that? 6.5. Uh, I mean, <laughs> looking at like the company, I mean, Viola and Crobat. Okay, that's that, that's decent company, I guess. But again, I don't think some of the other ones are should be that high. But <sighs> Pelipper, okay. I mean, on their rating scale, sure. Moving on, we got Scramble. Scramble's not that great. 6 is fine. Clay, unfortunately, not that great either. Um, 5.5. Oh, they did rank Clay higher than like Nanu and Grant. Which I'm not sure if I agree, but yeah, it's all right. Um, and then we got uh, Candice. Mm, I don't know. I think I definitely think Candice is better than Mina. Like we meme on Candice because Candice is like you know we meme on Candice about how bad Candice is, and Candice is kind of you know, not kind of Candice is kind of bad. <laughs> but again, it's our like it's our only hail center outside of like Ice Steven and Eggmons. So that. Should count for something, I guess. I mean, if you're trying to run Dugong and you don't have Ice Steven or, or Tech Lapras, this is probably your only option. But yeah, I mean, overall, Zune, she's not that great, so I'm not going to gripe over uh, that one too much either. Oh my god, oh my god. This this is a federal crime, man. Like, Eric and Vibloom. Eric and Vibloom is so good. It, she's so good. She paralyzes your opponent, right? She has three move gauge refreshes on a two gauge energy ball. She's very tanky, both physically and specially, right? And she could raise those stats additionally. She does solid damage with her Sacred Paralysis Energy 5. She has Confusion Energy 5. You could potentially confuse your opponent as well as, as paralyzing them. 30% chance, but hey. What is it, 40? I can't remember. Something like that. 30, 40%. And then, again, you just do solid damage with the Energy Ball. What? <laughs> and then you can run her in Sun as well. And you need to heal in Sun, all that stuff. Yeah, no, Erica should be like... Erica should be like 8 or at least 7.5 or something. Anyways, whatever. Oh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. They have Brock. Brock. Dude. Oh, Brock is... Oh. Dude, Brock? In my opinion. Right? And you don't have to agree. But you, like, there's no way anyone actually believes Brock is the worst tech unit in the game. Brock, in my opinion, should at least be on this scale, right? Brock should at least be 8.5. At least be 8.5, right? Like, what? It's 4.5. Dude, Brock has potions, master healer, uh, MP refresh on the potions, one gauge spamble move, right? Uh, you, you, you get defense crush on that one gauge spamble move as well. You got rock tomb. With all, I think also defense crush as well, right? R Brock could do solid rock type damage. On top of that, is okay. Your sink nuke is really, 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 really good physical defensive tank, right? Ah, <laughs> and then Torkoal, ah, Torkoal, fantastic will wisp user with a really, really good one gauge spamble ember damage, right? Really fan, like one of the best chip damage units, you know, units in the game, right? One gauge spamble, move gauge refresh, can buff its own special attack and crit and defense, right? Oh my god. Also, Janine, I, should, I would put higher as well. Like I'd definitely put Janine higher than like stuff like me, you know, or whatever, right? Like, um, in my opinion, it's incredibly underrated. Uh, like Venom Drench is so good. Like it, it like defuses like three stats in one move. Obviously, you have to poison the opponent first, but like still, that's really, 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 really good. 
and valuable. And also, I do think Makuita is also slightly underrated as well, as potions, rock smash to decrease the opponent's defenses, and brick break. It's like a worse Brock, or a much worse Brock, but uh but still i i don't think it's like it's that should be that low yeah all four of these i just think should be high. like especially torkoal and onyx should be much much higher these should be like maybe 0.5 higher or one higher right but uh, i don't know man this is <laughs> well that's that's it i guess uh, as as usual unfortunately um, a lot of disagreements but again they, they get to do what they want and it's I can't stop them, nor do I want to stop them. I mean, you, you do you. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll. <laughs> um, at least it was a good laugh, folks. Um, it was fun. It was entertaining, I guess. <laughs> uh, some funny stuff here. Anyways, I'll also move this one, I guess. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, let me know guys think in the comments down below. Like and enjoy this video. Sorry, I channel for some more Palm Mass's content. I'll see you guys in the next one.